Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Young Guys Tarot. This is your January 2022 love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what we have going on for you, Virgos. We have grieving, career, and friendship. So are you grieving a career? Maybe a career ended? It almost feels like you got the butterfly here. There's a transformation here, though, with the butterfly. So whatever you're grieving is transforming. It's bringing something different into your life and family. I almost feel like some of you might be grieving that you had you leave a, a career in order to um, build more of a um, foundation with your family and friends. Maybe this um, career was taken away from, from your um, friendships and your family. Your relationships is what I should say. Okay, let's see what's going on here. This is a love reading. Let's see how this plays into the reading here. Okay, what do I have going on for Virgo? Haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you're moving on with someone else. So that could be the grieving. This person's grieving over the lost here. And maybe after you, they left you or whatever happened here, you just went into your career and friendship and your family and just said, the heck with them. Okay, and then we have, you yeah, building an empire. They see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy. It'll only holding them back from love. See, that's what it is. And we have unexpected. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you're, or you have moved on. So this person might wake up to the fact that they really do love you. But by the time they wake up, you could have been onto somebody else. In the recent past, we have uprooting. They are having all this, all that is familiar to them or long-term, wait, they are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Okay, though, this was in the past. This person might have tried to leave um, something to come towards you because this is in the past position we'll clarify the gods favor you now is the time your prayers have been heard you will succeed and be vindicated so whatever's going on and I think this is your career I don't think this is with this love this is your career that things are happening for you things are moving along I think your career is really taking off and I think you yeah sometimes things happen for the best it's like Maybe this person came into your life and then once they left, it made you go in a different direction, which brought you into more happiness in your career. Because maybe they were too focused on their career and it wasn't good. But you probably needed to do this because you still have love for other people. Permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on their heart and that cannot be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. That's what's coming up in the future. They might come and tell you that. They have justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. So this person is really thinking about what they can bring you, what they can do for you, and how they can balance this out. For some, I also feel like maybe they're even trying to get you a gift. But this is justice, um, Libra energy. And then we have garden. They are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses allow them to fall in love in steps now this is how they're thinking about you too though that that they're that you're guarded i think you're both guarded okay and then we have the witch they see how powerful and magical you are and sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell well i think that's just love that's what happens with love and then we have back and forth. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. I feel like this person is a little unstable anyway, somehow. It's just like they always had a hard time trying to make decisions. Um, a procrastinator I'm getting for somebody here. And then we have solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. Now, this is like the hermit card. They had to go deep within to find out what they have to do here. And then we have release. When they set you free, they felt the strong, they felt the sting from your absence. 
don't let their silence fool you. So right now, if they're not talking because they're in, they're trying to heal here. They're going back and forth. They're trying to make up their mind. So just because they're not speaking to you doesn't mean they're not thinking of you. And coldness. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you that they're worth keeping. But in the meantime, they can't do that because right now they're trying to heal themselves and trying to heal this connection. But they have to do that in a way where they have to find their solutions. So they're going deep within to find out how to do this. Okay, now let's start clarifying here. Okay, there's haunted. Why do we have the haunted card here? Why is the haunted card here for Virgo? Seven of Cups, fantasy and temptation. See, they fantasize about you. And you have been a temptation. This haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you're moving on with someone else. That's it. Because also the Seven of Cups, you have choices. They know you have choices. Maybe you're not with someone right now. They don't know that. But they know you have you're very um desirable and they know that they can they can lose you if they don't make a move. But I don't think they can make a move right now because they're still healing. Okay. But they have to heal because they'll totally blow it if they don't come incorrectly. So they have no choice. Okay, now this um this building an empire. Let's see. So we have Sun. Universal alignment. To me, this is I'm sorry, sun star. Star, universal alignment, star. So this is, you were the hopes and dreams and everything else. They actually achieved their hopes and dreams as far as material, um, the material world. They have whatever they want or if they need, but they don't have you. So they're trying to get that now. You are their wishes and dreams and hopes, but uh, I don't know. They're not sure about this, but that is a wish fulfillment card. It also could be pertaining to you that you have achieved your goals too as far as your career. Unexpected. Why do we have the unexpected here? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Now this says the answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might not be it might be too late or you have moved on. But see, this is this person going back and forth and they're writing down you know the pros and cons and also page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn they're very solid the pentacles and very um stable but they're just slow very slow and it might be too late okay uprooting why do we have uprooting eight of pentacles work in progress see this person has been working on trying to get this um, going with you. They, they want to leave everything. They want to work on things. And this is what they've been doing in the past. Trying to make things work. Trying to put things together. Okay, the gods favor you. Let's see why we have that. Ten of Wands, Heavy Burdens. You're getting rid of these Heavy Burdens. God's, God is taking this away from you. Uh, they say gods, but I would say God... I have one God, um, but others might have more, you know, whatever you, your beliefs. Uh, the universe, God, you know, is, is helping you. It's taking care of these burdens. Okay, permit mark. Why do we have this permit mark? Two of Pentacles, Balancing Act. You left the permanent mark on them, and they're trying to balance themselves now. They, you actually threw them off kilter. They're trying to make a decision now how to how to balance things out. Now, justice. I'm worried how we got the two of pentacles here, and then we have the justice card here, which is the same thing, trying to balance things out. Okay, why do we have the justice card here? King of Cups, emotional mastery. This person is trying to come, trying to get their emotions under um, control here the balancing act and before they come to you because they don't want to just make a fool out of themselves to blur out how much they care about you so they're trying to get the emotions under control before they come because they have a lot of love for you okay guarded why is guarded here king of pentacles this is stable they're getting their self together they're they're um trying to come to you and saying hey listen i'm a stable 
person now. I, I can handle this. I, I think before you thought maybe they weren't, they won't be able to handle this, but they're working on it. They're working on the stability. And that's um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be also your, your energy that you're very stable at this time. Also could be like someone in charge of a corporation or company or something. A boss. Very stable and reliable. What about the witch? Magician, manifestation tools. Yeah, they see you as able to manifest things. That's why they think you're a witch. Because <laughs> they can't believe how you're able to manifest. And that is because you you understand, you believe. You know that what you think you get. So you have to keep things positive. You you know how to manifest. You're not a witch. Or maybe some of you are. I don't know. But it's not that. It's more like you know how to, you know how the world works. Okay, back and forth. Why do we have back and forth? Four of Pentacles, scarcity mindset. Yeah, see, they're worried about losing. They want to hang on to you, and they're worried about losing you or that they're not going to have enough for you. So that's their scarcity mindset. They go back and forth to feel like they have enough, they can do it, and then they go back to, oh, I don't, I can't. That's solitude. And we have imprisonment. Yeah, they're they're putting their, it's open their own prison here. They're, you know... They're mentally conflicted. And that's their own doing. Let's see. Release. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they got they want to work on this. Collaboration. They want to collaborate with you. And Hermit. See, this is a Hermit card again. Um, this is your energy, Virgo. So it's like soul searching, going within, going deep. I think you already done that, you do that, and you're good at it. That you're able to achieve what you need to achieve by going deep within and thinking and going off on your own and be left alone so you can think. Let's see what else we have for you guys. Four Cups. They're missing you a lot. They think about you day and night. They want this new beginning, a passionate new beginning, Ace of Wands, and they want to go out and celebrate. They're going to ask you out. They're going to ask you out to, for coffee or drinks or dinner because they want to talk. They want to um, they want to fire up this passion again. Yeah, they're coming with an offer here. This is they're going to contact you, whether it's a phone call, a text, an email, you know, a letter. You know, they could be dropping a letter and a, and a card or something to you if they don't know um, your contact information as far as your email or your phone number. And this is also you learning something new. You taking off on your own and learning something new that makes you really happy. And the page of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else we have here? Knight of Cups. They're coming with a love offer. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Could be any sign. But they are coming in with a love offer. And they want to hold on to this. They don't want to lose this. That's the whole fear. That they're going to lose this connection. They don't want to lose this connection. They, yeah, Gemini lovers. They see you as their soulmate. Deep connection. A lot of love for you. They're waiting for the right time to come. to make their move say that they are the king of cups actually they might be coming across as a knight because they're a little nervous but they actually have a lot of emotions they're the king of cups scorpio cancer pisces could be any sign though and they have other people getting into their head trying to talk them out of this or trying to you know persuade them how to handle this and they shouldn't listen to these people they're gonna have to give a even give and take in order for this to work and they know that if, if you were doing all the giving they were taking, then they, they have to change that and they know that. And they do. They think about you all the time. And they're going to come in here with an offer. They're just trying to figure out how to approach you. So here comes an offer. You also could be getting an offer as far as a job or business, a career. That could be coming in too. But I feel like this person is coming in on a very strong, stable, secure offer. Something they don't think that you can refuse. <laughs> and they're thinking about how to do that, what, should, what to do. Let's see what signs we're dealing with. Leo. Ooh, that came. Look how that went flying over there. Okay, Leo. That's grieving. Leo is grieving. <laughs> what can we deal with a Leo? Cancer. Oop. Virgo. This one will pop too, so we'll take it. Aries. Let 
Libra and Aquarius. So you have two ears, two fires, one earth and one one um water okay so leo cancer virgo aries libra and aquarius these are the signs you can be dealing with these could also be placements in your chart placement in their charts there could be other people around you also um please take what resonates leave what doesn't and please leave me comments let me know if it does resonate i appreciate it i read all your comments and um thank you so much for all your likes your shares your subscribes and i hope to see you again real soon thank you